Hey guys, I apologize in advance for the long video, but we just have a lot to go through today. We have a completely new calendar, and I am so pleased with how it turned out, and I hope you are too. To access the calendar, just click on the calendar icon here in your left navigation. As you can see, it is larger. So what we did was we blew this thing up all the way to the left and all the way to the right. Now your category screen, instead of taking up the right one third of your screen, is this semi-opaque floating um, legend that you can use. It's still interactive, just like before. But now we've got these beautiful colors on all the cards. And most importantly, and this was the number one requested feature, we now have your image thumbnails on here. So you could see at a glance what your post looks like. And of course, you can drag and drop. So if you want to change the position of any of these, it's just effortless. Just drag it over there, and now it's got a new place on the calendar. So super easy to rearrange your posts, and we have a lot of special features that you won't find on any other tool, so please stick around until the end. This is the week view. We also have several other views to get through. Um, we have a month view. Now each one of these represent one day. Um, per month. And if you hover over it, it will show you the complete text with just a summarized piece of text here within the card. You can also see which social networks and if this is a repost or a requeue or just a normal scheduled post. The day view gives you a more linear format where you can just see like in one day what's going out and any overlaps will be kind of jogged over here. So it won't cover up the text of what is above it. List view, very similar to day view, but it's a more stacked view, so you can just get a really quick glimpse going down the left side. So I'm gonna pop back over to the week view and let's show you some details here. Let's say I click on one of these items. Now, I'm gonna go first to one of the sent items. So today is Tuesday um, the 16th, so these are all sent. If I click on that card, you'll notice a new fresh design. We show the image that is in there, any emoji. We show the full text of the post. But now what's cool is we also show you the profiles that it went out to. So you could see the Facebook and Instagram profile instead of just having that Facebook and Instagram logo. You know the category, the user that sent it, the time it was sent. And now we also have this analytics section down here that looks so beautiful. This is a test account, so there was no engagement on this post. But if you have engagement, it will appear here. Another thing that we've added down here is the ability to collaborate with others on your posts. That becomes more relevant when it's a future post, um, but you can still make comments on old posts as well that have already been sent. Um, the verification report, you can run right here so you could see you know, confirmation that it actually went out and what time it actually went out to each network. And you can always open this as a copy. If you like the sales numbers that it generated, and the conversions you got from it, you can open it as a copy and send it again. And that's something I wanna show you because the second most requested feature was the ability to generate new posts and edit posts and copy posts and save posts as drafts right here from within the calendar. So here's how you do it. I'm gonna click open as copy and it's gonna make a copy of that post right within the calendar. So now what I'm able to do is just add it right back to the queue. Now it's going to add this to the calendar at the next available time slot in our schedule. Super, super easy to do. So next, I'm going to show you the card of a future post. This one has not yet gone out, so I'm going to click this. So for posts in the future, you can see whether it's scheduled or if it's a queue post. You can see all three social profiles of the Facebook um, accounts that are here and any LinkedIn post will be gathered right behind the LinkedIn logo. So, you know, you've got two different LinkedIn profiles. If you want to collaborate, it's so easy to do. Just click here to add a comment for the team. And let me just note here that this is blue when there's no comments already. If there were comments, this would be red and it will let you know that there are comments waiting for you. So click this button here. Now you can just add a comment. So I'm going to say, let's change the image and you can add emoji or you can just add your comment and now you can see it turns red so to view team comments you can see it's got a timestamp it's got my name now anybody else on the team that is included in this post 
can collaborate and you can have a whole text chain going back and forth here until the post is just the way you want it. So you can also edit. It's just going to load that post here. You can make any changes you want to make. I'm going to add an exclamation point here and then click schedule and it'll add it right back. So moving on, I am going to show you some of the things going across the top here. Notice that we can always jump back to today's date, but it's really easy to navigate through the different screens and then pop right back to what today is. Um, going across, I'm going to jump all the way to the right here and show you a feature that I absolutely love. And this was not in the last feedback video. So this is kind of like a, an extra surprise I wanted to give you guys. Show drafts. So none of the drafts appear in the main calendar anymore because they don't have times assigned. So now instead what we have is a complete list of all of your drafts that appear on the right side of the screen and they are persistent. So notice how it moved our category over and if you ever want to move your categories, just move them. If it's not big enough for you, go ahead and drag it and it will remember that size. So I'm going to make these a little smaller um, and I'll move it back over here. And um, just to show you, if I jump into month view, notice how my categories stay the same and the drafts stay open. So now you've got this complete content gallery that you can simply add over. I know that a lot of our clients were using drafts as a place where VAs could create content and they could take a look at their leisure. They didn't necessarily want it added to the approval queue just yet. So now you can have this enormous grouping of content ready for you to drag wherever you need. So you can either drag it in, you can open it and edit it, you can do whatever you want with the drafts on the right side. You can even search drafts. So if I were to say progress, it will limit what I see to only ones that have that text. Um, I can also filter for different things. Like let's say I want to have filtering for special offers. Now it's only going to show special offer ones. So I can do the similar thing with categories over here. Um, notice that like if I want to uh, filter the main category also for special offers only, just click the filter button and it will only show you special offers. If I want to change a category or add a category, I can do that directly from here and make any changes I want to the categories. For example, changing the color or how I want these optimized. Like for a special offer, this really should be optimized for sales. Then once you save it, it's automatically applied to all of your calendar items. So moving on, we have another feature over here called settings. So this is going to give you global settings for your calendar. Um, we now allow you to change Sunday or Monday right here within the calendar. So if you're in Europe, you probably want to start your calendar on a Monday instead of a Sunday. That's easy to do. Uh, this was a big requested feature. In fact, this morning um, we got, a, oh, it was yesterday, we got a feature on our feature request board to start the calendar at different times. Now you could start the calendar during whatever your operating hours are, and we will start the calendar right there. So you're not seeing a big bunch of white space for midnight through 6 a.m. It's going to start right where your content generally starts. You can have your default view be the week, month, day, or list. This was a big requested feature. I'm going to leave mine on week. And you can even change the sort order of your drafts. You can have the newest on top or the oldest on top. It's up to you. You can show the category legend at startup. So with this on, it's always going to show that category legend. But if you tend not to use your category legend much, you can just switch this off and it won't show it when you start your calendar. You can show your drafts column on the right by default. And when this is switched on, it will automatically launch that drafts folder if that's part of your workflow. This was a big requested feature. So make the calendar your start page. When you switch this on, when you log into our software, instead of taking you to the old publisher, it will immediately take you to this calendar view. I have a feeling a lot of you, based on the feedback I got, are going to be doing this. And this is going to be where you do 80% of your work within our software now. So I'm really happy to add this feature for you guys. And let me click Save. Now all of those settings are applied. Really easy to do. Um, I'm going to go to the next one here, which is called Tactical Overlays. So what this does is you can um, 
apply an overlay based on whatever criteria you want. If you want to see what's generating free trials for your software or leads for your sales business, if you have a sales team, um, whatever your goals are, you can just include that here as a ranking and it will apply an overlay to all of your future post time slots. And it will show as dark blue all the way down to light blue for the most desirable to least desirable or optimal times that you should be scheduling posts. And then you can simply drag your posts onto those optimal times. Um, for your posts that are, have already been sent, you can rank them and it will actually show a ranking based on most to least um, successful based on whatever criteria you wanna set. And then you can apply that. Next, we have a um, filter. So you can have a more advanced filter where you can filter by post type, like only your scheduled posts, um, only your reminders, your awaiting approval and that type of thing. You can also filter by category. So if you only wanna see your special offers, you can apply that. And also social networks. If you only wanna see your X posts, you can do that as well. So one of the thing I haven't shown you yet is you can actually create a new notification or a new post just by hovering over any cell, any um, item here in your calendar. So notice how I am hovered over the nine o'clock time slot. You've got this plus sign. You can always just click plus and create a new post. So you have an option to create a new post or a new notification. So if you wanna notify yourself and remind yourself, hey, it's time to send an email, um, you can just use this icon and say, send email and you can even set an alert so when you click this it will send this one day before and just click save so you can also um, click this and create a new post or as a shortcut you can just double click so let me show you how that works so if i double click here it will just create a whole new post and you can just start generating one and send that just a little shortcut that we have for you guys now, um, I'm gonna to go to the very next one. This is called the bulk post editor. So when you click this, it allows you to do some bulk stuff. So if you wanna say, let's say you've got a, an employee who left, you wanna remove their social profile from all of the different posts um, that they were sending. All you need to do is just say, okay, any post that includes the social profile of the person that left, and then you can either delete those posts completely, or you can add um, a different social profile, or you can simply remove their social profile from the post. There's a whole number of things that you can do. Um, so I encourage you to explore this. It's a real time saver. Um, instead of doing one by one, it's really nice being able to apply bulk edits to your posts. So that is the new calendar. Um, I hope you guys get really great use out of this. If you have any additional ideas, go ahead and send them along or any feedback for us. But we will be continuing to develop this. We're also gonna be developing the drafts um, options because drafts has really become this really great place now where you can organize your content. Uh, we're gonna be adding bulk options to the draft folder. We're gonna be adding an import feature where you can take a huge CSV and import it as drafts instead of adding them to the queue. That's coming later this week. We're gonna be in the future when we eventually have an API uh, for publishing, we're gonna be, it's gonna be a great feature for you to be able to take AI content and add it in bulk to your drafts folder instead of just throwing it directly into your queue without looking at it. So looking forward to all these upgrades and the great ideas that you guys keep passing along. Have a great day.